Hey everyone, it's Aaron from Testo here at TCHS Brandywine in Dinatown, Pennsylvania. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go through the evacuation. Again, everything can be done on the manifold as well as the smart app. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna demonstrate both here. So when you turn on your device, simply go to your menu, go right down to the evacuation mode. And when you come into the evacuation mode, you have a simple configuration that you can do. Again, you can set your evacuation target, which generally is around 500 microns, or depending on where you're at, depending on the ambient pressure you're at, if you're in higher elevations, you may not be able to get down there. So with Testo and what we did, we were able to adjust them manually. So we can go up or we can go down. You go to wherever you want. You can hold the buttons in to go up even faster. So for this example, I'm just gonna go with 500. My maximum DK target is exactly where I wanna start when I wanna to get to that point. So when I get to my DK target, I hit the evacuation target, and I wanna make sure that I am not going over that. So generally it's 1,000. This is all set up directly from Testo right out of the box. Same with the app, I can do the same exact thing. I can go ahead and do my configuration here. I can set up my targets. I can also set up my, my pressures and I can also use a vibration alarm once I hit those targets, just so you're aware, because we know evacuations sometimes take long, so why not get some work done and then be notified once you hit that target. So what we're gonna go ahead here is we're gonna set our targets. I'm gonna go down, hit okay. It's gonna be looking for the 552i. The 552i you can purchase independently. It works with the other smart probes as well. So this one you can run with just the app or it will connect directly to the manifold. So the, the details, and again, using an external micron gauge is very beneficial because you are not messing up the manifold on the inside because of the different pressure sensors. So having an external gauge with your pump hooked up to the circuit, you are able to get all your results right here on the gauge. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna go ahead and start pulling down a vacuum by turning on our pump. And then once we get down to roughly 7,500, which we can actually probably get it going right now. So we're gonna start running right now. So on the app, you can see that this is going down. So you're able to, to get where you're going from your start. So I'm at about 6,600 microns right now. This is showing the graphing to where it's at. You're also getting your air to H2O temperature, your evaporation temperature, and there's also a deviation there as well too. Uh, but the most important thing is, is seeing on the graph, and especially from the app on a live perspective, is where everything is going. Plus you also get your targets as well too, so that it will show where you're at. So in back in the live mode, and you can see on the manifold that we actually have the graphing starting, so it's pulling straight down at the moment. Right now we're running down our microns here, where we're going. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this system down to close to our target so that you'll be able to see when it gets there and watch the graph sweep. And then once we get to that point, we're gonna go ahead and restart the measurement so that you have the timer that goes on as well too. So we'll be right back. All right, so we're getting closer to getting down to our maximum DK target. So if you'll notice, I did adjust it from the very beginning. We had it down to 1,000 to 500, which is the factory setting that comes straight up from Testo. Um, but just for demonstration purposes, I wanted to sh at least demonstrate how the graph is working and how the target lines are working as well too. Again, you got the big display, you're seeing everything live, you've got your temperatures and your internals, you got your ambient temperature and then also your delta temperatures that are being taken at this time. Your timer up here, which is very handy to have so you know your times and then also your 552i connected which is giving your micron readings all live. So I have it set to about 1500 microns. So you can see the little line here is just about ready to touch the 1500. And then where I have it set to my actual evacuation target is about 1250. So my goal is to hit about 1250. Once we hit 1250, I'm gonna shut the pump off and we're gonna watch the sweep go. All right, all of us as techs know Depends on the vacuum pump, depends on your hoses. You know, this took a little bit of time, so it could take an hour, could take six hours, worst case could take a day. But for what we're gonna do is, we've already adjusted the parameters, 
I have it set at about 1250 microns is where we're gonna go. So what I'm gonna do here is, I'm gonna go ahead and close off our pump. Just gonna close that, I'm gonna shut this off. And then what we're gonna see here is you're gonna notice your microns are gonna jump up a little bit. So with the graphical display, you're able to see the sweep. So generally we wanna wait another 10 minutes or so, but just for the sake of the demonstration here, we're holding real tight. And what you'll eventually see within the graph here, and same on your smart app, you'll see that the sweep goes up. So we have that little bit of rise and it flattens out. That means we've got a successful vacuum at whatever target you wanna set. Again, this comes from the factory of 500 is your evacuation target, and you also have 1000 as your maximum DK target. Again, all customizable either through the app or on the manifold, you can use either or. You can have your 552i working with the manifold, which this is transmitting data to it via Bluetooth. And you also have this working with just the phone as well too, if you don't have the manifold. So you have the flexibility with your tool set with Testo. With it off, now what we have is our readings from our evacuation. So we've got our temperatures, our ambient temperature, and our delta. And again, your graph is saved. Now everything won't save on the manifold, it's gonna go right to the app. So with the app, I'm able to go ahead, as you can see, I'm gonna go ahead and hit save. And again, I'm gonna add this to the customer. So what you have here is your values, we can show it, the measuring values, and we can also go ahead and export this to a report. You have that, and then we can also generate the report as a PDF, which this will then give you all the details you need. So with this customer from doing the target superheat, the pressure leak test, and the evacuation, this can all be one report that we can save for this measurement for this customer. Special thank you today to TCHS Brandywine in downtown Pennsylvania for allowing us to use their HVAC lab. And for more information on more Testo products, visit us at www.testo.com. Thank you.